Hello again, welcome to another video. It's April here. Um, you may not recognise my voice because I haven't been on YouTube for so long. Thought we'd uh, start off with a nice sketchbook tour. Uh, just finished this, so let's get going. Um, this is a Royal Talons Art Creations A4 sketchbook. I love these sketchbooks, um, I use them quite a bit. And this one is full of stuff, chock full. So let's get going. It's sketchbook number 30. I number them, but I work on so many at a time, I don't finish them in, in, in the order that I number them. Uh, this was started in January, finished today. So about six months it took to do this, and I had about three or four as well on the go at the same time. Just a warm-up page, just some, put some gouache down, and <laughs> these little fishies here, they're kind of cute. So the next few pages are kind of a quarter of a painting or something. I did some Patreon rewards and for these ones I drew the backgrounds and I drew like all the random stuff on and then I scanned them in in Procreate. So I will pop them on screen so you can see the finals. I think I was trying to get into drawing objects here. So I went with salt and pepper shakers. These ones are kind of fun. They look like um, lighthouses and teapots which is kind of a default when I'm doodling teapots and things not sure what this is I mean it's lily pads I know what it is but don't know why I did that uh trees yep some, some very random stuff in here to be honest I got into collage and I tried to collage from a painting that I've made I don't not like this one at all it was very messy I think I did it on stream and then I made this tiny little one here with the scraps and some other washi tape. This is from a video on YouTube. It's when we walked up Gummer's Howl. And I was going to do more down here, but I ended up leaving it blank. These are just little sketches. It was very foggy. This is the fog here. Another little collage. I was experimenting with uh, drawing out the collage first and then basically using that as a guide to cut out the shapes, which worked quite well. This is when I tried to do like a weird, I don't know, freehand from my head doodle and I'm just not very good at them. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I also did some drawing sessions with Morgan Grace and this was really fun. These are timed, so I think these are 10 minutes from National Geographic old photos of landscapes. After I did um, those sessions, I, I thought, thought it was really fun. I did my own. So I actually looked at National Geographic photos as well. And I did a little warm up. So this was like a bird's eye view. And these are some birds, actual birds. This is another one. I think it was like 10 minutes trying to use paint only, very messy. This is when uh, Sabine sent me this amazing stamp she made for me from one of my penguins. And she also made Digby and I was just doing a little test page and this is what she did. Hers are much better than mine. She's uh, very good at stamping things. This was on our live stream, I think. It's uh, from Windowswap, the website Windowswap, and I was using Crayolas, which are super, super fun to draw with, guys. If you've never tried it before, definitely give it a go. They're like really cheap crayons that kids use. And it just kind of like, you don't have to worry about anything because it's not going to turn out amazing it's just gonna it's just something fun to do so it kind of takes away that pressure window swap is a website where you ha look through a webcam through other people's windows and i think it's only on there for like 10 minutes and then the window changes so it's almost like a time drawing as well this page i painted over an or other sketch you can kind of see in the background here and then I had all this washi tape and I didn't know where to put it, so I just put it in this page. I don't know. It's kind of fun. This is when I was trying to do some landscapes. I was taking a landscape course. I still have to do it. I'm like one lesson in of about 3,500. And it was using shapes, so looking at the shapes of the landscapes rather than um, the details. So that was an exercise from that course. Another Morgan Grief session where we drew random animals. I really like this baboon. I was scared to draw him, but he turned out fun. Using Crayolas again. Crayolas are really fun. 
this is when I was doing I think it was plain April and it's very very muddy um but I actually really like this piece this paper isn't the best for things like this like it just makes everything very muddy and it's kind of hard to to do lots of layers but I really like this I actually have it as a screensaver on my computer right now I scanned it in and tweaked it a little bit and it's on my computer so I see it every day when I open my desktop I had this page where I had like all of these random paints on and I just ended up drawing circles coloring the background in and then drawing faces and it's very creepy and I'm not very good at drawing faces like this I don't think but it was it was a fun exercise I was trying to uh, work with monochrome black and white to like look at values better uh, it, it's okay uh, I do like color though I missed color when I was doing this uh, this is when I was doing the Maru Godas squash sketchbook domestica course. So just a bunch of different exercises from that. Lots of mixing and using different materials. And then a random few pages of blind contour birds, which I did on a phone call one day. I can't remember. It was just an art chat or something uh, with a group of people. And I was just doing some random birds. I did this one six different times. I don't know. It's just super fun. Like... It, it uses up a whole bunch of sketchbook pages too if you're into that and it was just fun to do so look at this one his head's come, completely come off and then I, I got bored so I started actually drawing birds so yeah this is my uh, party of colours from Marie Godas's, uh course it's where you Every time you kind of use a colour, you put some colour on the page and at the end you have a mix of all the colours that you use. I think I forgot about this, so I don't use it much, but it, it'd be fun to fill it up eventually. Some others from that course using painting trees. I don't ever paint trees like this, so it's very awkward for me. And this is probably the, my least favourite page in this book, where it's from that course as well, just using gouache. And look how thick my <laughs> lines are. I actually bought some paintbrushes after this to make thinner lines. Just practicing. I kind of, um, when I do a domestic course, I tend to almost copy the person to begin with and then I do it in my own style. So as you can see, these are not like what I would normally do. This is when we went to one of the gardens here in one of the National Trust houses and drew some beautiful flowers. I did this on stream and I was going to fill in these four too, but I just never got around to it. Got some new colours here, and this is when I was doing lots of uh, mixing. I do quite a lot of colour mixing in this sketchbook. They're kind of all over the place, but this is using two colours. One is the primary, which is the yellow, and one is the secondary on the opposite side, which is the purple. So that's that one. This is from a patron challenge I did where we drew other people's views from their window. Some other random little pages here. I don't know what I was doing. Just messing around with markers, I think it looks like. And again, messing around with markers. I think I did this plain air, actually. We went out and I was on a mountain and drew this. This is another Morgan Grease or Odd Orange drawing session to draw people this time. I really like this guy. I want to animate him, I think. And then back to the colours. So this one's using red and green. And this one's using blue and orange. Some more swatches. I got a lot of art materials. <laughs> I think I was doing the um, no buy art supply. And then in about March, April, I kind of gave up. And I brought a whole bunch of new art supplies. So there's a lot of like new swatches and stuff in here. This is when I was using paint pens for the first time. It's very messy. Some burbs from when I was doing my draw this in your style. With the house and the uh, rook couple of pages that I don't know what that is I never finished I think I was t testing out that idea I did earlier in the sketchbook here this is using paint pens again uh, timed that's I did the same view this is for five minutes this is in 15 minutes I think I like the five minute one better but I really like this color palette actually and then as you can see I kind of just sketch around in the sketchbook so this is using those two colors so this one's orange and blue and I did some little abstracts to begin with to kind of like just get used to the colors and stuff and then I did a scene and I did this for patron 
last the last month I was on which was two months ago and I did three of them in a row so they're not in a row in the sketchbook though jumping back to Marie Goddess's course when we draw shop fronts paint shop fronts in gouache and we also do some people which I never draw hardly ever I don't really like drawing people I do like this person though she's cute this is from Emma Carlisle's patron. I joined for a month, but uh, there was just so much to, like, I was so busy I couldn't keep up with all of the uh, drawing sessions and stuff. It was really fun, though, this one. All the lighthouses and things. Random sheep that I saw. Oh, this is fun. This is from da Dali, D-A-L-L-E. It's, uh, you must, some of you may have heard of it. It's like an online AI thing, and you give it a prescription, uh, you give it a description and it spits out an image. So I just uh, typed in penguins having a party and then I just changed the animal each time. So kangaroos having a party, cats having a party. <laughs> and I just love that camel with the hump, with the party hat on his hump, so funny. Oh, back to these. Okay, so this one's purple, then this one's red and green with the abstract. And then next is that landscape. And then the next one should be the same, purple and Okay, so wait, what's this one? Red and green, purple and yellow, and the same landscape again. This was another Emma Carlisle uh, patron live call. We did buildings, it was really fun. And this is from, it's from Jenny Adams' Domestic Course, and it's like a colour swatch page in a rainbow, and it was really fun. I like doing that. And then this is all kind of from Jenny Adams' course where I do a lot from my photos and I was trying to come up with a limited colour palette which I kind of have been using over the last month I would say and I really love this colour palette, I think it's really nice. So kind of using that and also bringing in a few other colours where I need to. This one's completely, completely off, using lots of yellow. Um, I don't like that page. Ah, uh, this one's right. I really love this bright highlight, I don't know. Some people would call it a bit garish, but. And I think this is probably one of my favorites as well. This, this little pit here. And another one, basically just using the technique she uses, which is painting on the page, which I do anyway. I've used that for a few years, but she has a few different ways of putting the paint on the page where I normally just paint on. So using some of her techniques was really fun. And I think I was just trying to get used to drawing houses and things, different ways, stylized, different color palettes and things. Another random page, so many random pages in here, but it's fun. You can kind of see I'm drawing the same things, it's all from my walks around here. So lots of mountains, lots of hills, lots of little white houses and barns and things. This is from the Jenny Adam Domestic Course where we use negative space and shadow. And also taking a photo and doing different compositions for it. This was when I was doing the... Uh, I got an art crate box and I had seen some European siskins the day before. So I was just drawing some European siskins for that. Um, crazy page of swatches is when I got the inten intense blocks. And I also got some more markers there. Another crazy page, I got some other materials, and I was drawing some chaffinches, some chaffinches, some chaffinchai over some random swatches again. Uh, I was just doodling things from London that we had seen, so some ducks, some dodos, they weren't alive, they were, they were stuffed. Our lunch that we had, it was so yummy, Mary Poppins, this cool pigeon that I saw, it was like a little graffiti pigeon. Almost at the end now. So some more doodles. I think I was doing this while I was having a chat with Katie Moody one day. We had a little art chat. And some other ones using this colour palette here, which I really liked. And this was just trying to fill up some pages. I scribbled basically all of my new art supplies. And then I drew this one in Crayola. And then I drew this one with negative, kind of like space doodling. It's the same pigeon. And I drew this, I did this last night 
it's a black headed seagull which I saw the other at the weekend when we were out for a walk and I just love them they're so cool this house that we saw on a walk are uh, using some random paint that I just popped down some paint pens and very colorful and a bit crazy this is an odd orange one this was actually the last one in July where we did a whole bunch of different stuff different exercises so blank contour contour drawing uh, this was using my non-dominant hand this was negative space and this was <laughs> another monkey <laughs> so yes monkeys and then this is the last page that I did today and uh, I just kind of smushed some paint on it and used my paint pens this is from the same walk that we did very close to each other actually this is looking one way and I just saw these crows on this fence which I thought was pretty cool and then this is looking back the other way where in the distance there was a church it was a lot smaller than this <laughs> but yeah I just love this this these colors I think they work so well the only thing I think I need another dark color that isn't blue like maybe another dark orange or another dark like a really dark pink or something because right now the only in this color palette that I'm using the only dark I have is this dark blue and it's getting real small that's how small it is so only a few more sharpens left and then I did this actually a few days ago uh I was just I don't know I was just trying to fill up the sketchbook and it's something I don't normally do I used to do it a lot when I was first starting to draw because I used to like drawing people but I basically just um you know do blobs and I draw the faces on but I didn't I didn't really enjoy this it was just a, it was just a, one of those cop outs you know like oh just fill the page up but it, I really should have just done another landscape because that's what I love to draw and the last page this is actually done ages and ages ago I was listening to the Maru Godas's course. I hope I'm saying that right. Maru Godas, I think is how you pronounce her name. And uh, she's a Spanish speaker and I love Spanish so much. Uh, I was using my Spanish listening skills and I was drawing this and then I was just looking up every now and then at the subtitles but trying to like understand what she was saying <laughs> in Spanish. And lastly, some random marks here that I did on my back page, some more washi tapes and that is the end of the sketchbook so I hope that you enjoyed that big long gigantic sketchbook tour these sketchbooks actually have quite a lot of pages don't they uh, a lot of stuff in there some courses some new materials a lot of playing around with color which I really enjoy and uh, new techniques so I think I really grew in the sketchbook like I really um, I don't know grew some techniques uh, learned a bit more about color and how I like to use it and uh, it was fun, a lot of fun. So next sketchbook, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I hope that you'll be back for that one. And there should be a video up next week, the June vlog. Fingers crossed I'm back to a, a consistent YouTube schedule. But uh, if I'm not, <laughs> I'll see you next time. So that's all for me today. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.